Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to solve for the unknown in each number. Okay, let's start. Okay, dito naman, we're going to find R. Okay, so let's have this three examples. Tapos again, recall the combination formula. Okay, so let's have the first one, ito. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, so unang gagawin, you try to write this combination notation in terms of factorials. Okay, 8 factorial, this is n. Okay, and then 8 minus r factorial times r factorial. I'm going to teach you two methods here on how to deal with this kind of exercise. Okay, on how to find r. Okay, the first method is the very famous... Tae method. What do you mean by tae method? Trial and error method. So, paano gagawin ang tae method? For example, um, eto. Okay? Magsistart kayo. Isistart nyo kunyari sa zero, yung R. Okay? Tapos, isa-substitute nyo dito. Okay? Sige nga, gawin natin. Okay? I have a little space here, so, sige. So, I have 8 factorial over 8 Minus 0 factorial, and then 0 factorial. Okay? And then what do you get? Um, 8 factorial, so I'm going to copy over, what is 8 minus 0? 8. So I'm just going to have 8 factorial. 0 factorial, it's 1. Okay? So we don't have to write it. 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial, it's 1. Okay? So ganun. I isa isahin ninyo. Okay? You always remember, if this is the given, your R is less than or equal to 8. So, the possible values for R are, it can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, itatry nyo yan, isa isa, isubstitute dito. Okay? So, ganito. So, maganda ha kung isusulat nyo lahat ng to in terms of factorials. Okay? So, ganito ha. Isasubstitute nyo lang dito yung value ng r. Okay? Kunya ito. r is 1. Okay? So, gagawin nyo lang tong 1 tsaka ito. Okay? But I will not do it in this video kasi masyadong mahaba. I will just give you the final answer. Okay? But if you are going to write your solutions... Do not forget na isulat mo na in terms of factorials. So, let me give you the numerical answers here. Okay? So, let's have um, 8. 1 muna. Okay? 8 to. Okay? And then, okay, papalitan lang natin um, 2. The answer is 28. Okay? And then, papalitan ko lang ulit to 356. Okay? More. Sa so 4 na tayo, 4 is 70. Okay? And then, 5, do we get 56? Okay? Actually, may nakita na nga tayo eh. Kasi ang pinahanap natin, balikan natin ha. Okay, if we go back, we're looking for R such that kapag kinuha natin to, okay, ang sagot, 28. Tingnan nyo to. Ito oh. Meron na tayong sagot na 28. So, we conclude that um, R is equal to 2. Okay? So, ito yon. Pero alam nyo ba na meron pang isang value ng R na magsasatisfy dito? Okay, ganito lang yon. Okay? Di ba? R is 2, right? Okay. Pero ilan yung total number of objects? 8. Okay? So, parang ganito lang yon. Ano yung kulang sa 2 para maging 8? 6. Okay. Yung R equals 6... Kapag in-evaluate ninyo dito, 
Sinapsis nyo dito yung R equals 6. Ang magiging sagot, 28 din. Okay? O sige, i-continue natin yung mga numerical values ng ating combination notation. Okay, let's continue. So, kunin natin yung um, 6. O si? 28 din ang sagot. Okay? So, it can be a possible or another possible value for R. Okay? Kita nyo? Ayun o. Okay? So, ganun sa combination. Kapag nakita nyo yung isa, yung kapartner niya, kung ano yung kulang para maging equal sa given na N. Okay? So, ito pa. Ano ang 8, 7 naman? So, sige, kompletohin natin dito. So, 7. Okay, it's 8. And then, ito 1. Okay? Let me show you another method on how to find the value of R. Okay? So, i-consider ko na lang yung same given. Yung sinasabi kong method is the Pascal's Triangle. This one is named after Blaise Pascal. Okay? So, how does Pascal's Triangle work? So, ganito yon. Ang una nyong gagawin, gawa kayo ng triangle. Okay? Where yung mga vertices ay 1. Diba? Hugis triangle yan? Nakita nyo? Okay. Ngayon, dagdag pa kayo ng mga 1 sa gilid. Parang ganito. Yan. Okay? Diba? Hugis triangle pa rin. Ngayon, kapag may space na, like this, okay? Ang gagawin nyo, lalagyan nyo ito ng number. Okay? Ia-add ninyo yung dalawang nasa taas niya. Okay? So, yung number na nandito ay... 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay? Mamaya ko i-explain paano ito gagamitin. Okay, magdagdag pa tayo ng mga 1 sa gilid, ha? Okay, like that. Okay? Tapos, yung space dito, ang ilalagay ko dito, sum ng dalawang numbers sa taas. Okay? So, it's 1 plus 2, you'll have 3 here. Okay? Dito. 2 plus 1 you will have 3. Okay? O, dagdag pa tayo ng 1 sa gilid. Like that. Okay? So, ano yung nandito? Nakikita nyo na? 1 plus 3? 4. 3 plus 3? Um, 6. Okay? 3 plus 1? 4. Okay? Isa pa. Okay, dagdag kayo ng 1 ulit sa gilid. Ano yung nakalagay dito? Dapat? 5. Okay? Dito? 10. Okay, kasi 4 plus 6. Dito? 10. Dito? 5. Okay? Let's do more. O, magdagdag ulit tayo ng isa pa. Okay? So, dito? Dito, anong lalagay ko? 6. Kasi 1 plus 5? 6. Okay? 5 plus 10, 15. Dito, 20. Tapos, dito, 15. Dito, 6. Now, baka nagtataka kayo, gano'n ba kadami teacher ang kailangan? Okay? Nakita nyo to. 8. Right? Dapat, maka-8 kayo dito. Okay? Yung unang, ito, itong pinakatuktok dito, ito, nagre-represent ito sa 0 pa lang to, ha? Okay, sa so zero. Okay, ito, yung next level, one. Okay? So, we count. So, ito ay one, ito ay two, three, four, five, six. So, nasa pang-anim pa pala tayo. Six pa lang yan. Kailangan natin eight. Okay? So, let's continue our Pascal's Triangle. Okay? So, kompletohin natin itong seventh line. Okay, or 7th row. Ito, 1 plus 6, 7. 6 plus 15, 21. Okay, 15 plus 20, 35. And so on. Alright? This is 7. Okay? And then finally, okay, dito na tayo sa last na kailangan natin. Kasi ito na yung pang 8 na row. 
Okay, again, starting from 0. Ito ay 0. Okay, so let's have this. 1 plus 7, 8. This is 28. 21 plus 35, what do you get? 56. Okay, this one is 70. Ito ay 56 ulit. Tapos ito ay 28. Tapos ito ay 8. Okay? Ngayon, paano to gagamitin? Okay? Ang hinahanap natin, let me write here. Okay? Ito. We're looking for the value of R such that this combination notation is equal to 28. Okay? So, ganito yan. So, since 8 nga ito, kaya gumawa tayo ng 8 rows ng Pascal's Triangle. Ngayon, hahanapin natin ang R. Okay? So, tingnan nyo kung anong gagawin ko. Yung sagot dito, makikita nyo, di ba, pang 8 to, ito yung kailangan natin, makikita nyo siya dito sa row na nabuo natin. Dun sa pangwalong row. Nasaan yung 28? Ito, at saka, ito. Right? Okay, so paano ba yan? Anong relationship nito dito? Ito, yung pinakauna, so magsasart tayo sa leftmost part. Ito, ito yung um, C, 8, 0. Okay? Ito naman, ito yung C, 8, 1. Ayan. Okay? Tapos ito, ito yung C, 8, 2. Sunod-sunod na yan. Okay? So, that's why R is equal to 2. Kasi ayan, no? Okay? Next. Ito, ano to? Ito yung C, 8, 3. You can check these values dun sa kanina natin kinuha using my calculator. Okay? Ito naman, C, 8, 4. Okay? This one, C, 8, 5. And then here, we have C, 8, 6. Nakita nyo, 28 kapag R is equal to 6. So, another value of R. Right? Okay, tapos ito, this is for C, 8, 7. Okay, and then itong last na one na nandito, this is for C, 8, 8. You see? So, ganito gamitin ang Pascal's Triangle. Okay? So, nakadepende sa inyo kung ano ang gusto nyong gamitin. Okay, balikan natin tong dalawang examples na ito. Okay? So, kayo na yung gumawa ng solutions ninyo. I will just give you the final answers. Alright? So, pili lang kayo. Trial and error or the Pascal's Triangle. Okay, let me use my calculator. Okay? So, 10. That's our N. Okay? Try natin um, 4. Okay? It's 210. Medyo malaki kasi 120 lang ang kailangan natin. So, palitan natin. Okay? So, kunyari ang um, 3. Yay! It's 120. So, we take R be equal to 3. Okay? So, ito. Dito na lang natin ilagay. Okay? So, R is equal to 3. Okay? Tapos, ano yung tinuro ko sa inyo? Kapag nakakuha na kayo ng isang value, okay, di ba R is 3? Okay? Tapos, di ba 10 to? Ilan ang kulang sa 3 para maging 10? 7. Okay? So, you may want to verify na pwede rin ang value na 7 kay R. Here, let me check in my calculator. Okay? So, 7. And we will get 120 as well. Alright? Okay. Let's try this one. Okay? So, 11 naman. And this time, we're looking for 165 as the answer. Okay? So, try natin. Okay? Anong gusto nyong number? Um, sige, 4 ulit. 4. 330. Masyadong malaki. 165 lang ang kailangan natin. So, maybe we try 2. 55. Oh my God, it's 3. Three, okay, it's three. Okay, so dito ko sulat ha r, this r, okay, is equal to 
three. Kita nyo? Okay. Tapos ano pa yung isang posibleng value ni R? Again, ilan ang kulang sa three para maging eleven? Ilan? It is? So parang eleven minus three. You will get eight. Okay? So, tingnan nga natin kung okay ang eight. Tingnan natin dito. Okay, palitan ko lang to ng 8. Kita niyo yan? Okay. Okay, we will get 165 also. Okay? So, kayo nang bahalang magsulat ng solution. Alright? Okay, so I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.